Yeah. <laughs> um, and then maybe you don't know this, but suddenly the Catholic Church decided um, there is no limbo. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I've been working on a series of uh, poems called Letter. Let, they're all called Letter from Limbo. And um, I decided that there were three seasons in limbo, um, the mud season, and then shifting wind time when the hellish winds come over and you're really hot, and then a real long deep freeze. <clears throat> um, so that will help you maybe. The first one is in the mud season. I'm going to read the, the first, the bookends of the series, two poems. The first is called Letter from Limbo. Now that our version of a spring thaw's arrived, the ground's even spongier than usual. We wear waders and waddle mightily out through the muck and back, out and back, out and back. Endurance a sure cause for civic pride, were it not futile for us to claim virtue. You may have heard of the decertifying of our pitiable province. Apparently, the doctrine of limbo in the 21st century was an encumbrance, that or mere redundancy. All the unbaptized babies have grown. Limbo's grayer than last year's gravy. Nothing's cute about our inhabitants. But please, twitch with the surety that we're not to be disappeared or discontinued. We're not railroads or coal stoves. Each morning, the agony returns afresh. We're stuck. Want a rewrite? We're staying. Our cobblers and horologists labor on. Only our post office has been officially closed. Zip code annulled, addresses obliterated. As ever, we wait to be delivered. <laughs>